even white. of the board tonight some information regarding um, some of the business practices which are being conducted in our community by one of the members of the board. Uh, uh, Mr. Clerk, can you stop this start watch? No personal attacks by individual in the community will be tolerated by this chapter. No Excuse me, I, I didn't hear you because the gentleman came up and approached me. No individual attack by the members of the public will be tolerated by this chapter. And I, you were, you've been out of order, and I call you being out of order. And I, I can defer that to, uh, to the attorney. Yeah. I actually wanted to communicate these words at the last January meeting, however, when my name was called, I was unavailable. Since that speech was prepared in January, in many states, the month of January is proclaimed as School Board Recognition Month to help highlight the contributions of dedicated men and women who take the time to care about our schools. I'm not sure if New York has also announced the same. Nonetheless, I'd like to join other states and districts to thank the board members for volunteering to tackle the enormous job of governing our local schools. Our board members are elected to make critical decisions that directly affect the future of our youth and our park kids. They work tirelessly devoting countless hours to help ensure a quality education that will lead our students to success while balancing a budget that shall be fiscally responsible. The time spent in board meetings represents just a small fraction of the many hours the board members devote to our district. Let me remind the public that all board members are unpaid volunteers. Their job is not an easy one but they are committed to serve the community and ensure that all students are given opportunity to excel. I'd like you to join me in thanking the dedicated members, President Nathan Rothschild, Vice President Aaron Weider, longtime board member Steve Price, and the other members, Mimi Calhoun, Suzanne young Mercer, Moshe Hopstein, Richard Stone, Ellie Solomon, and Moshe Cohn. Thank you for giving of yourselves and caring about every child enrolled in our district. And to Mr. Solomon, I'd like to tell you on a personal note. I've seen the hatred they are spewing towards you. Let me explain to you. These anti-Semites have tried burying Mr. Weeder alive, yet somehow he doesn't die. He doesn't cave. So they gave up on him and are attacking you now, hoping that you will give up, hoping that you will cave. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it affect how you treat the children of this district. You're doing a wonderful job, and we all support you in that. We know, we know it's all lies. We know that your building is free of violations as the health department has stated again today. The truth is known to all of us. The lies are known only to those who fabricated it. 